So welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on. Today I am answering one of my most asked questions and one of my most requested videos of all time from my Instagram page and that is the clothes that I have in the van, um, where I store them, how I keep them all organised and just general tips on minimalism. So for a bit of context, I lived out of a backpack for five years and obviously I had very minimal clothes so now the last couple of years living in this van I really feel like I have quite a lot of outfits. Um, so having everything in a tiny space can be a challenge but today I'm going to kind of explain a bit about that and show you all my outfits I have so let's have a bit of fun with that. So first of all I'm going to show you where I store them. So this box here is my box and where I store not just clothes but everything that isn't food stuff basically um, and I also have half of this drawer right here and the other half strikes. So let's open up this box and see how messy it is. I think it's going to be pretty bad, I haven't opened it in the last couple of days. So this is the inside of my box. Let's just take some stuff out because we're far away from the clothes right now. So that's a picnic blanket. Actually, let's build these things up here. This is my backpack for hiking. And we're starting to get to the clothes, as you can see. This has just got some little beads and string in it for arts and crafts and stuff like that. Um, right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the packing cubes out and show you because that is how I organize. So first of all, we have a packing cube for underwear of the pants kind. <laughs> um, this is all swimming stuff, so my bikinis and swimming costumes. This whole thing is socks. Not that I need them right now, because it's like 23 degrees today, which is cold compared to how it's been. It's been like 33 degrees in here all week, so this is a good day to be doing this. So that's all my socks. Um, and then I actually just have some random clothes thrown on the top, which I put my chair for now. In this bag is shorts by the looks of it. Not really a pattern cube, but hey ho. We have vests and kind of crop t-shirts. In this one we have dresses and skirts. There are a few pairs of rogue trousers out here, so let's just put them over there. And these are trousers and dungarees in here. Okay, so I think that's, no, that's not all my packing cubes. T-shirts and long sleeve T-shirts. Okay, so let's just get rid of some of the packing cubes we don't need to talk about here, so. You, nobody needs to see my pants. Socks aren't that interesting. There's a combination of thin socks and fluffy socks and thermal socks. Not very exciting, I promise you. I forgot to show you this one earlier, this is just a bag of like bras and stuff like that, like running bras, which, let's face it, not really needed, but have them anyway. Um, and this bag, which I didn't show you earlier, is thermals. Um, I'll show you them, but I'm probably not going to put them on today. Um, so, let's first get into the most exciting one, in my opinion. Uh, let's have a look at all the dresses and skirts. I think you'd be probably surprised at how many you can fit into a packing cube, um, especially if you have a good packing cube, they can, you can really kind of push them and zip them up, obviously if you have a bag with a bad one the zip will probably break. Um, so let's start with some of these dresses. So the first one, uh, probably one of my favourites, is this one, let's put it on. So this one is from H&M. I'm not gonna pretend that all of my clothes are from sustainable eco places because some of them I've kept for a really, really long time, um, but a majority of them are, so this is the first one. So this one is from Organic Basics, and by the way, nothing in this video is sponsored in, in any way. Um, just showing you what clothes I got. So the next one that we have is this one, which I definitely don't wear enough. Let's have a look. So this one I think is really old from ASOS which I've had forever. You can't really see my feet but it's quite long and it has a little slit in it so it's good for hot weather and that is the back. Let's move on to the next one which is this one which was a gift from Jake. So this one is actually from a surf brand and it's really surfery but I don't think it looks surfery. Um, but this one was a gift from Jake no matter how much you scrunch it, even straight after washing it, it comes out perfect, like it will never need ironing, which is obviously good because we don't have an iron. And that brings me to a first tip about minimalism and living in a van, um, is if you don't own an iron, which I don't know, personally lives in a van who does own an iron, um, then having clothes that you don't need to iron is a really, really good thing because sometimes you don't have time to like get it wet, hang it up, dry it in the sun before you wear it, you know? So this is a really, really good one for that. Let's move on to the next one. So this isn't 
100% my style and what I would usually wear but we do a lot of hotel photography and sometimes it's good to look like kind of normal and posh so if we're going to a fancy restaurant for whatever reason usually to take photos then this is probably what I'll wear. I have no idea where it's from but I've had it for a really long time. Let's move on to the next one. So this one is my safari outfit. <laughs> I'd love to go on safari one day, I've never been, um, but if I did, this would be it. It's from Zara, but I didn't buy it on Zara, obviously. I got it on Depop second hand. And now we have a couple of skirts, so let's move on to these. And my other skirt is this one. So this is from a market in Bali, in Ubud. So now let's move on to t-shirts and tops. So this vest is kind of special because my mum gave it to me and I'm pretty sure she used to wear it when she was my age um, but I feel like this will never die and I don't know what brand it is because it probably doesn't exist anymore um, next another Bali purchase we have this one so we have an item of clothing that I actually made myself so if you've been following me for a while you might remember that I was making some clothes and I was selling them on Etsy and I made loads of these like little crocheted um, crop top kind of things. Next we have something that I definitely bought when I was a teenager. There's that. I have this one which was a gift from Jake. And then I have one more, actually I have quite a few more tops. I think I'm just going to jump the transition through these now. So let's do that. <laughs> Here's a fine example of having tops that don't need ironing. This one definitely does need ironing. So this material is not the best. So if I was going to wear this, you see how much it shrinks up, um, I would probably spray it wet and just hang it outside for a few hours to make it okay again. So that's that. And there is 100% photographic evidence of me wearing this when I was like 17. So poncho for life, quite literally, because I probably will have this till the day I die. Another thing I've had since I was a teenager, because I bought this at a festival when I was like maybe 18, um, and I wear it literally probably every day because I keep it in the cab area of the van, and I think it's kind of good to have one that you're keeping in the cab area, so if you're driving, or when Jake's driving, if he likes the aircon on and I get a bit cold, I just put this over the top, or just like use it as roll up and use it as a pillow, so this just gets used every single day. Um, and another similar shirt. So this is one of my favourite things of all time. Let's just get a bit closer so you can see it. Um, it's from Otway, the label. Yeah, it's one of my favourite things. And this is my last shirt kind of thing. This one's from Dickies. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a really thick, like, I don't know, soft material. And I usually wear it in winter. And this t-shirt is on Organic Basics. I just found it. It came out of my clean laundry pile. So a few things I missed off so yeah this is definitely going to be at the bottom of my box for a while because it's cosy and I don't want to be wearing cosy winter clothes anytime soon so let's move on to jumpers and then trousers slash dungarees so honestly this jumper I've I've never had so many questions about an item of clothing before but I put oh, I was wearing it a lot in Spain last year um, because we were there over winter and I'm um, I've honestly never had so many comments about something, so people were asking where it's from and it is really nice and soft and cosy. It's from Pull and Bear. It's kind of definitely gotten a lot less soft in the wash over the years, um, but it was really fluffy to begin with, but that's okay. I'm still going to wear the hell out of it for many years to come. Um, so that's this. Okay, so obviously I've been wearing these like the whole, <laughs> most of the video. Um, I bought these in Bangkok in Khao San Road um, for probably like three pounds and I've had them for such a long time and that's the crazy thing I know people say oh you know you, you want really really good quality clothes you have to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on them but honestly some of the clothes I've had and I've bought for like hardly anything have lasted me such a long time um, so yeah that's these and another pair that I bought in Thailand are these ones so let's see what we've got next it's probably too much of a hot day to do this but I'm gonna do it anyway so these are from Dickies, um, they fit really well and I find it really hard to find um, trousers and jeans that fit me because they're always too big in the waist, which these are 
quite big in the waist but let's forget that because they are actually my length um which is really rare this is a normal heighted fan and i can stand up straight and touch my hands to the ceiling and i have dickie's clothes because we made a video for them um while we were in scotland so yeah obviously i sold some of them i've kept some of them because how could i throw away jeans that actually fit so that's those and let's find another pair of jeans again another pair from dickie now more denim i know not ideal for this weather but let's put on these my favorites so dungarees if you follow me on instagram you know that i just wear dungarees probably too much of the time so i basically have these ones from luciniac and these ones are actually the original pair that i bought myself um, which is kind of how Luciniac, I guess, found out about me and sent me a few more pairs to have. But these are my first ever pairs. So I'll never not be obsessed with these dungarees. <laughs> They're just really, really comfy. And what else is in this particular packing cube? A pair of black leggings. They're quite boring. You don't really need to see those. In fact, I have quite a few of those in my thermals packing cube. Um, and also a skirt, which somehow ended up in the trousers section. So yeah, this is a skirt from Free People. Um, I've never been able to afford anything from Free People, so this is off Depop. Um, but it's like a really nice thick skirt. It kind of feels like you're wearing jeans, but with the leg breathability. So yeah, I really like that. Oh, I have one more pair of one more pair of trousers that I've just seen. So let's do those, um, and then we'll move on to whatever's next. So these are actually from a friend who has a small business called Matahari Collective, and. She gave me these. I like them because each leg is a different colour um, and they have pockets which is always a win. So next I think I've gone through most of the clothes but I'm just gonna have a double check but I think next we have this bag of swimming stuff. So I have my little pouch of swimming stuff. Um, it's not too big but I think it's still quite excessive like <laughs> I probably shouldn't have so many. Anyway I have a black bikini with matching top green with a matching top this is um a bikini i actually just use this for showering because it's too small to wear maybe i used to wear it when i was a more risky person but i'm old now and so i just wear this if i'm showering outside and i just want to cover myself up a bit because it's easy to like get in between it or wash you're showering um i have a pale green bikini top with bottoms I'll show you this one next. My favourite swimming costume of all time. I wear it, you've probably seen it in my Instagram pictures because I just feel more comfortable in a swimming costume than I do in a bikini, but I do wear both, depending on the mood. And this one, which is, I've never had a bikini that I like more than this in the, in the world. I mean, I barely wear it. I used to wear it all the time, but I can't let go of it. And I'll probably never let go of it. Look how beautiful it is. <sighs> it's so nice. It's from motel i don't know what motel is but um it's cool because it's adjustable so it does it up at the size you can choose like how big or small you want it to be so that will never not fit me and then this one is a similar sort of thing i like it because it does cover quite a lot of skin um and the same kind of issue so you just make it as big or small as you want so that will never not fit me so i'll never get rid of that um it's really special um so that is all my swimming stuff let's take a look at hats hats okay so i think i have to take these hair clips out for this um this hat was a depop purchase i don't know where it's from but that's what it says on the front but um i just bought it on depop it was probably like two pounds but i wear this all the time it's really good because it keeps the sun off everywhere and um, yeah it's not too tight it's really good this one i bought in chiang mai when we lived in an apartment in chiang mai for a couple of months and there's this man making and selling these and i was like oh it's perfect <laughs> it's like a little straw hat but the good thing about it for travel is that it literally you can fold it up i think that's a really important thing about living in a small space or living out of a backpack is the fact that those big wide brim hats i love them and i'd love to have one but I just don't know how I pack it away. So these kind of things are really good. And then we have caps. My favorite cap that I bought from a, a vegan um, market. And this one, which was randomly sent to me from 
Vita Coco, which is a coconut water company. They sent, they gifted me a box of coconut water and this was in the box. So that's that. Um, and I just have this little headscarf, which I bought in Bali as well. So that's all those things. Oh, and one more hat. This one, which I crocheted myself. So I think we are almost completely done. And the only last section I can think of is shoes. So let's start with a ridiculous pair of shoes that look so funny. Um, they're a gift from Jake and they are these water shoes. You can't tell from that angle, but this bit is clear. So when my foot's in it, it just looks like I've got no toes. It just looks like a weird foot shaped thing inside, but I love them. And actually they're so useful and I've been wearing them a lot lately since we've been parked next to loads of cool lakes. So that's those. Next we have these sandals that I literally live in. These are my Birkenstocks that are fairly new. I bought them at the start of this trip, which is like, probably they're two months old. I had the Birkenstocks with a cork sole, a cork bit, and you know the rubber sole, um, the vegan ones, but I had them for like a couple of years and I did wear them every single day pretty much, but they just wore away really quickly. I don't know whether that's my fault or what. Um, so I ended up buying these ones. Um, they're waterproof so you can wear them in the water and if you're thinking of getting Birkenstocks I definitely recommend getting these like water ones rather than the other ones because the other ones I don't know if it started raining they get wet they take ages to dry out these if I get all sweaty on a hike and I do hike in these then I can just put soap in them wash them out with water and they dry in literally two seconds so these are the best sandals for travel that I have had um let's move on to actual shoes so these shoes are my absolute favourite shoes I've probably ever owned in my life. Um, they're a gift from my mum and dad. They bought me them for my birthday or Christmas quite a few years ago. They are from Skechers. And yeah, they're just cool. I love them. Um, okay, moving on to the last pair. So next there's these ones. These are actually barefoot shoes. Um, and if I was doing a really, really, really long hike that was really rocky and rough and I, I would wear these. Um, so yeah, we do a lot of work with Vivo Barefoot. I've got a few pairs of their shoes. I've got a winter pair of like hiking boot ones, but obviously it's summer now and they're packed away in the back of the van. So I'm not gonna get those out. Um, but yeah, they're really cool as well. So we're very much almost done. I'm just having a look around to see what else I can find to show you guys. There is this jacket, which is the most photogenic jacket I've ever had. Um, it's from Otway, the label, and they sent it to me to make a little video about, and it's got fluff on the inside little pocket on the end look how fluffy that is and i also have a big yellow like ski jacket kind of thing um which is in the back of the van rolled up really small because i'm not going to be using it for a while but i think it's really helpful to have something really thick because if you're living in a van in winter and we did our first year in the van without a heater and that coat kept me alive like i would sit just sitting in the van i'd be wearing it i'd put hot water bottles inside it and just do it up like having warm clothes is so important obviously unless you're not going to go to a cold country at all then it's not so i'm filming this the next day because i had a little bag of shorts but they're buried beneath all the other clothes so i'm just going to quickly show you those so first pair they're the same color as our van um and so that is why i absolutely love them second pair is a little pair of cycling shorts which i wear underneath dresses and stuff like that um because i don't want the wind to blow up my dress or anything um next we have these ones and they're the comfiest shorts of all time i bought them in spain last year and uh yeah they're just really comfy okay the next pair is this little pair of shorts that i have from decathlon so i just really needed a thin pair of shorts that just felt like i was wearing nothing because a few weeks ago it was literally 42 degrees and I just needed something like this to just wear so that's why I got these and my favorite pair of shorts are these ones right here so another Depop purchase and these ones are from Zara but bought them second hand and now for a few tips about minimalism. So I don't think living in a van, you have to be really, really minimal. I don't think you have to be any kind of extreme. Um, obviously if I was living in this van on my own, then I would have more things. Because I think people kind of, like myself included, fill the space that they've got. Um, 
even when we were backpacking like I had a, um, a 60 litre backpack and I definitely didn't need to fill it but I did because I had the space to and I think people kind of do that in their house as well so like, if you've got a huge wardrobe maybe you think oh it's fine like you don't even think about it because you know that you have the space for these things um, so obviously when you live in a small space like this you have your clothes that you have and that will kind of probably be the amount that you're having now if you want to buy something new you kind of have to implement the one in one out rule um, most of the time unless it's something small so say if I bought a new jumper which I'm not going to because I like my current one but that's how it would work I'd have to get rid of my current one um, so yeah it kind of does work like that another thing when it comes to minimalism that you've got to think about when you live in a van is having that balance between not having much stuff but having enough stuff to not have to keep doing laundry all the time one of the things i didn't think about before living in the van was i thought it'd be really easy to just do laundry all the time um but the truth is i mean it is easier out of the uk in the uk it's really hard to find water and things like that and laundry is expensive to do um, if you're doing it really often but yeah i thought it'd be easier but I can just fill up a little bucket of water and wash some small pieces of underwear and some little t-shirts and things like that um, but it is a bit annoying it's a bit of a faff and there's not always the water source and you don't always want to be wasting your water on that because it does use quite a bit of water when I say quite a bit I mean like a couple of litres which in van life terms is quite a lot um, so we probably go to do our laundry like once a month um, and we do all of our clothes together it probably costs about 12 pounds something like that if 13 14 euros I think um, obviously it varies but that's something you'll need to think about so I do have my as you'll see my underwear bags are quite big and quite densely packed because I do have quite a lot of underwear so I'm never probably never gonna run out hopefully so we can get away with doing our laundry um, but that's just something that you'll need to think about obviously um, I was watching a documentary ages ago where the lady said if it doesn't spark joy then let it go because the thing is with clothes is that there's always someone else to wear them and I think this day and age the really annoying thing is clothes are made to just be seasonal be bought and then thrown away because they're out of fashion out of season do you know what I mean like they have their spring collection you buy something from that and then it's winter all of a sudden and then it's autumn and then all of a sudden you've got piles and piles of clothes but I just think that is such a wrong way to look at it and the right way is to have you know a set of clothes that you absolutely love that make you happy and that are going to last a long time and if you want something new that old piece of clothes and go to a charity shop or gifted to somebody or sold on like Depop or Vinted or something like that um, because clothes should be in a cycle because landfill is out of control anyway we don't need to go into all that so I really hope that these tips have helped you out a little bit and I hope that showing you my collection of clothes has made you realize that you don't have to be an extreme minimalist to live in a van um, obviously Jake has his box of clothes which is similar size slightly smaller than mine um, but we both have a space in the van and if you're especially if you're doing your own van build you know how many clothes you're going to want to have you can build your own storage for that it's not a problem obviously within reason because you can't fill the entire van with clothes because you wouldn't have anywhere to sleep um, but yeah I really hope that's been helpful thank you so much for watching I really appreciate every single one of you for clicking on this video and if you have any tips on minimalism or anything like that just leave a comment and also let me know I'm really interested to find out whether I have more clothes than you think I would or whether I have less that would be really interesting to find out um, but yeah if you did enjoy this video please give it a little thumbs up and subscribe and then I'll see you in the next one